Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 13th, 2023. Well, it's Friday finally, and we get the kickoff for the big bank earnings coming up here this morning. I'm actually recording this at 5.30 a.m. in the morning, so um, some of the banks have not even reported yet. Um, how about we take a look at what happened around the world last night? We had um, Asian markets down across the board last night with Hong Kong suffering the most of selling. That's kind of a tech heavy sector. So we'll want to be watching the NASDAQ this morning. We've got European markets down across the board this morning as well. It's interesting. Yesterday we started out with so much confidence and uh, that really faded pretty quickly after the data come out this morning, starting with not so much confidence. And then we have uh, bond yields that are higher this morning as a result of those data points yesterday. And we have a new sanction from the U.S. on oil pushing crude um, prices substantially higher, up more than 3% in the pre-market. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. How about we settle in? Let's take a look at these index charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, yesterday we just had a little bit of a rough uh, patch here after that data came out showing that it's likely going to keep the Fed um, pushing on interest rates. Um, longer than the market would like to accept. The CPI number was um, hotter than expected and jobless claims didn't improve uh, that situation or that sentiment at all yesterday. So we ended up with a bearish engulfing candle here on the diamonds, pulling back below this price support. I had suggested yesterday, watch this level right in here. And if that level were to fail, we might come back down and test this area. Well, we came down and tested that area and bounced off of it by the end of the day. This morning, we have just a little bit of bearishness starting off the, the morning as we wait for those big bank reports. So let's keep a close eye on this. Um, here this morning, if the bears continue to find inspiration, well, once again, maybe we test this level of price support in here. And if that were to um, hold, we were probably in good shape. If that were to fail today based on uh, the banking data, then look for that push down into this level. If we break down below there, well, that could be a little bit painful and may change um, a trend overall. So we'll want to watch that closely. Um, as a matter of fact, I would probably, if that were to occur, would probably adjust this trend out like this with that lower high failing in there instead of kind of this straight line sell-off that we had seen. But for now, I'm going to leave it as it is because we don't. I don't want to be predicting anything here in the market. I don't know that that's going to occur. So we'll watch that close. If the bulls happen to find inspiration here today in the data, then let's look for this bounce to come up here, break back through that resistance. As a matter of fact, I would say if the banks report well, we could see a pretty substantial move. So if they bounce back through there, maybe even a break of this area right here, and we can push on higher uh, to test the resistance in the downtrend here in the diamond. So watch carefully for both those potentials. Now, if we look at our moving averages here in the chart, obviously this was pretty rough yesterday. We had a failure here at the 200 day moving average. Um, we have a, um, still have that chance of a kind of an inverted head and shoulders pattern if we can hold on this banking data. So um, we still have that, you know, fingers crossed, I guess, if you're a bull, 
uh, chance of this bouncing. You'll want to keep in mind uh, that 200 day moving average can still provide resistance. That 34 EMA has come down pretty sharply and may provide some cap right in there as well. And then you'll notice that 50 day moving average is still in decline here. And it has declined enough that if we were to push back up into this area, now we've got a bit of a technical uh, resistance along with the price resistance in the chart. Let's take a look at our SPY. The old SPY yesterday also had a bit of trouble here leaving behind a bearish engulfing candle and we ended up leaving that bearish engulfing candle behind right where we would expect to see something like that and that is right there on that um, resistance level in the chart. Now keeping in mind if we are to continue to fail then once again I'm going to change this trend line here and I will move it into here if we continue to fail to the downside. We'll wait and see if that occurs. If the bears, if the bears find that inspiration today in the market, well, um, we'll want to watch this carefully if we fail back down through this range. And I say range because we got this low price here and then we've got this area right in here. So somewhere in this range down in the middle of this is where I would look for um, a test. You can see we kind of bounced off of that yesterday with the lows. Maybe a push down into there and then if that fails, I think we're probably pretty good chance we're coming on down to test this level in the chart. If the bulls were to find inspiration today, however, and bounce up, they could move pretty quickly and um, we would look for these this area I think for the resistance in the chart and if that were to uh, break then we're probably moving up to test this overall downtrend in the SPY so keep a close eye on that that would also constitute itself for a little bit of a well kind of a sideways looking inverted head and shoulders pattern if that were to be the case this would be the neckline across here so watch that carefully. And um, you can see that we're challenged a little bit by the 34 exponential moving average. That 50 day moving average is coming down that will provide some additional resistance. If we can push up, we'll wanna be watching some of that area right up through here, whether or not we can push on through it or not. Then let's take a look on, at our NASDAQ. The old QQQ might have a little bit of a challenge this morning just because of the heavy. You know, remember, Hong Kong is very tech heavy and they sold off pretty hard last night. So I'm, uh, I'm not exactly sure um, why that is, but oftentimes that will translate into a little pressure here into the U.S. markets on the tech side. If we take a look at this, we rallied right up here into that resistance area where well, we talked about that yesterday, that kind of a, that double whammy of, re of resistance here in that chart. We've got that downtrend, we've got that resistance, and it ended up holding, but it wasn't so bearish in here um, to really be all that concerning just yet. Now, the fact that we have shown um, uh, resistance in that area, the question will be the follow through. You can see here in the pre-market, we're looking at a little bit of follow through. As a matter of fact, we may be gapping down nearly to yesterday's low. That would constitute maybe a little bit of concern here for the market. If we were to fail through this little support area in here, then I would suggest there's a high probability that we would push right on down, maybe test some of these um, levels again down here. Now, there is maybe a little bit of price support just before we get there, so watch for that. But if the bears really engage, I think we could see this um, have a rough day today. If the bulls find something in the data today, well, watch that closely. If we can bounce up off of here, maybe we'll retest this resistance up here. And if that were to break, then we're pushing on through and probably coming up into an area right around here to test that next area of the chart. Now here on the QQQ, we have that warm and fuzzy feeling, um, at least at the moment, that we may hold that 50 day moving average. So watch that pretty carefully here. This pullback in to just test the 50 day moving average, there's nothing wrong with that. That's a normal price action move. So if we can hold this area in here and bounce off, well, we may be golden there on the QQQ. And you do wanna make, uh, make note of the fact that this is 
has rallied largely due to just seven companies, however. Um, so it just just be a little bit um, cautious on that one. If they were those seven companies have a bad day, um, QQQ is likely to have a bad day. So keep keep that in mind. Then let's take a look at our IWM. IWM, the weakest of the indexes, QQQ still being the strongest of the indexes. Well, it just had a rough day yesterday. It didn't really um, didn't really respect anything. We um, dropped down through the support levels here hard. We ended up breaking down below um, this uh, trend line break, and it looks like we're headed back for this area in the chart. So if the bears continue to find inspiration this morning on this data, you'll want to watch this carefully for a possible test down in here. Now, if that fails, that could be critical here because this is a very big support level in IWM. And if that were to fail, then the only place we can probably go, we've got a few tails down here um, in that area, but we're probably looking for a price support level down in this area of the chart. Now, keeping in mind that if the bulls find inspiration, well, pushing back up in the IWM might be a little bit more challenging because we've got the significant level of price resistance here. Um, if we push back up, let's look for that area of the chart, see if that holds as resistance. If it does not, then I'm probably going to suggest that we would come up here and at least retest these highs um, to see if we can uh, punch through that level level and that is certainly possible with big bank reports now not a lot of the big banks are in the IWM but just that enthusiasm that encouragement that the market is better than we're kind of priced right now would push us up there and probably create a little bit of a short squeeze let's take a look at our VIX now our VIX yesterday kind of interesting um, although we had that selling some bearish engulfing candles left behind in the market we're still holding on to some optimism that the big banks are going to pull us out um, to some positiveness so um, watch that closely it certainly is possible um, watch this area of support we ended up holding a little bit higher here by the close and perhaps that is setting a trend right in here. If the bears continue to find inspiration today, I would look for that push back up in here. Maybe we're testing up here around the 18 handle level in the chart. Um, that could bring in a little bit of fear and that could really spike if um, those numbers are not good. If the bulls find inspiration today, then I would look for this area to break today and push us right back down into here. And we might even just fall right on through that if the numbers are really good and we're pushing down into here with some super confidence in the market as earnings start to roll out. Watch carefully for that. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 really pulled back hard yesterday. As you can see, um, we were at, in the pre-market yesterday, we were pushing for the bearish, uh, excuse me, bearish reversal zone up here. And boy, we sold off pretty hard in T2122 pushing us right back down here toward the bearish river or excuse me bullish reversal zone and so we'll want to watch that pretty carefully I'm going to change the color of that uh, tool because it's pretty hard to see that blue tool on the black background so if the bears continue to find inspiration today just realize that we don't have a whole lot a downside that um, uh, before we are into the kind of extreme area of oversold in the short term, um, the bad banking data could certainly do that really easy. So uh, keep a close eye on that. And then, of course, um, if the bulls find whoops, if the bulls find inspiration, we'll be looking for that bounce, and we've opened up a pretty good opportunity for the upside if that information is positive. Let's take a look at uh, T twenty one o eight. T twenty one o eight unfortunately reversed yesterday down. Um, looking a little bit on the bearish side, about 30% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. You can see failing right there at resistance. That's really only going to matter if it follows through to the downside. And I can't say that it will based on the data today. But if it does, we'll want to be watching some of these support levels down here in the chart. 
if the bulls find that inspiration let's see if we can reverse that back up here and really start breaking um, some of these resistance levels to the upside on t2108 t2107 if you take a look at that well unfortunately we reversed right there at that downtrend and we also um, had some negative reaction here to the price resistance in the chart so again it's really going to matter whether or not we follow through to the downside if that's going to be the case and then if we do probably testing some of these recent lows we can go much lower in the uh, in t2107 so you'll want to keep that in mind if some fear really picks up here in the market but if the bulls find reason for inspiration then i would look for um, this to reverse right back up and probably break this downtrend and start pushing on to test some of these additional resistance areas in t2107 so watch that our uh, t2101 this was a bit of a problem yesterday our market breadth just couldn't follow through and we we've been seeing that a lot when the buyers want to step in the the breadth of the market just doesn't seem to want to hold so um, watch that closely um, we're still struggling with this big long downtrending area here in t2101 perhaps earnings can fire things off and get things moving here and see if we can maybe launch back through that area on a buy wave if the bulls really can't be get, get engaged if the bears were to get engaged one of the things we don't want to see if you're if you're bullish on the market we don't want to see a bear wave in the market push us through that resistance up here and expand the breadth on the bearish side so We'll see what happens there um, in just a bit. And we're, we're bouncing up just a little bit right now in the pre-market, and I'll show you why in just a second. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here this morning. Now, our economic calendar, we've got a few things to be thinking about here today. Um, nothing of major consequence. Everyone's going to be probably much more focused on uh, the big bank earnings. But we've got import export prices coming out here at 8.30 a.m. this morning. We've got Hawker that will be speaking. And we have to remember that once we get some of these um, bearish type numbers from PPI, CPI, things like that, we could continue to hear um, Fed members reiterate that bearish or hawkish sentiment um, in the, you know, for rates. So kind of keep that in mind we're piling on with some data here that is likely going to keep them talking rather aggressive um, and then we're going to have consumer sentiment that of course will be very very important um, our import export prices just really quickly our import export prices are um, you know looking to let's see consensus is looking for a 0.5 to stay flat over last time so uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know if that'll be much of a market mover. Consumer sentiment should be um, one of those things that we move on. Um, and unfortunately, the consensus is looking for that to decline a little bit today. So just keep that in mind. Now, let's take a look at the earnings calendar. In the earnings calendar, we definitely have quite a bit going on here this morning. First off, we've already heard from United Healthcare. That's one of the reasons we're bouncing up here a little bit since I started talking. Um, we're only down um, nine points in the Dow futures now with um, United Healthcare um, showing a nice little bullish move here in the pre-market based on um, its earnings reaction. So watch that close. I don't think the conference call has happened. Remember, that can change everything pretty quickly, but watch that close. UNH doing good this morning today. Um, we also um, seem to have had a report from Unity here today, but I'm not seeing any price movement in that um, to... Um, make a difference here that's interesting um, says that it's already reported but not even seeing any pre-market activity here on this um, we've got BlackRock that will be reporting today BlackRock you can see where we're at in this chart obviously been in a bearish trend trying to hold on to this support this is going to be an important earnings report for it whether it holds that support or if we start 
breaking it down or if we use that and bounce off of it and start getting bullish here on BlackRock. Citibank will be reporting to, whoops, that's not Citibank. Citibank will be reporting today, so keep an eye on that. Again, also in a downtrend, it's going to be a very important report for them. JP Morgan has been trying to hold up as one of the more bullish in the big bank sector, looking a little bit um, uh, bearish here in the pre-market, but um, reacting negatively to this downtrend here, we'll want to watch this closely. Um, it would be a pretty easy jump for this to pop through to the upside or really start breaking down here if um, they don't perform on their earnings. So big, big reports coming in here today. We've got PNC Financial. Keep an eye on that. Looks like PNC, I don't think it's reported yet, but it is um, very, very bullish here on uh, the pre-market move. And you can see trying to break that downtrend here. Um, we'll want to watch that closely. For the other banks perform like this, we're probably going to have a bullish day. Watch, watch for that. We've got um, Wells Fargo, WFC will be reporting. It's also trying to pump to the top side here, heading into its report, despite the fact that it hasn't reported yet. So watch that close. And last but not least, we have Progressive Insurance that will be reporting. This has been extremely bullish and we've been seeing a lot of bullishness in insurance companies. So watch that here as it reports. This may just break out of that resistance, continue to push on higher, excuse me, um, I wouldn't um, be at all surprised to see this breaks right on through if we get a good bullish report. Maybe start seeking this last um, last high here in Progressive, so watch that. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up before today, but before we do that, guys, if you can do me this quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you feel the video was worthy, please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to do that. I apologize I didn't get a chance to answer those comments yesterday but I will be back on task this morning. Let's take a quick peek at some stocks that could be setting up. And remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're gonna to have to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here um, because anything is possible today with the beginning of earnings. We could whipsaw very easily. We could move um, huge to the upside, to the downside. Um, so just be kind of prepared for just about anything this morning as that emotion continues to play out. Now, that being said, let's keep a close eye um, with that challenge that we, we saw over there in um, Hong Kong last night on the big tech. Let's watch this closely. Um, had a little bit of a bearish pullback here on Google, but boy, this is all kinds of bullish. Um, pulling up hard, um, breaking through all-time highs, breaking through this resistance. Now the question is, can it hold that area as support? If this were to break on through to the downside, that could cause a little bit of pressure in the market. So watch that closely. We also had stocks like Intel. Intel looking good yesterday. I've been mentioning um, Intel looking really, really good to the upside. Um, feeling pretty um, feeling pretty bullish about that one if it can hold this price support now that we've broken through watch that carefully nice little upside trend it again it's the if if it can hold that price support if we were to see some bearish action here you could see really quickly how we could break that little upside trend as well so keep an eye on that um, WBA WBA despite the fact that it had not the best of earnings yesterday went ahead and pushed on higher and so we've got this inverted head and shoulders pattern here in the chart watching this closely you can see we're testing that 50-day moving average we may find a little bit of a challenge right in there of pushing through but what we want to see now at this point is we want to see this continue to follow this little upside trend remember trends get started when we put in the higher low that's the beginning of a trend so a little bit of rest or consolidation in here would not be a problem this rests back into that trend that's exactly what i want to see 
and then I'd be looking for that next opportunity to the upside breaking through that 50 day and we could even break through the 50 day you know with good news on the banks and things like that go ahead and break on on through and then we still want to see that resting pullback to come back and test trend in the chart so watch WBA you might want to be keeping an eye on Apple um, Apple had a nice day yesterday pushing on through and following through above its 50-day moving average. So watch that carefully. We still have this downtrend here in the chart. I wouldn't rule out the possibility, if, and particularly if we see a little bit of uh, tech issue here today with rates going up and energy prices going up. We'll want to watch that closely. If this wrestler pulls back and holds that 50-day moving average, look for that next opportunity here to break that downtrend in the chart on um, uh, Apple. Let's take a peek at a few other places in the market. Boy, I'd be keeping a close eye on energy and energy related stocks today with that new sanctions from the United States against Russia on crude sales. Um, we're pushing back up here and you can see we're holding on, at least in the pre-market, we're holding on to this price support, which means we may quickly start to move on through some of these resistance levels in the chart pushing up. And I would look at any of the oil sector stocks within that sector. There's going to be some nice ones out there. Take a look at like AQT. AQT has been struggling with this all time high. Uh, oh, excuse me, not all time high, but resistance high in the chart. And if we had some good data today, um, keeping the market bullish, the oil sector numbers um, or that new sanction could easily push us right on through that level and start pushing um, these prices higher on gasoline. Let's take a quick look at a few other um, stocks in that area. Take a look at Halliburton. Halliburton also pushing back up toward this major resistance level on the chart. Um, as oil prices spike, you might want to watch for that possibility that that could break out. Valero has been struggling here quite a bit, but this could improve things in Valero. I'm not really sure it's going to improve it enough. We've kind of got this shoulder head shoulder thing starting to work out here, but watch that carefully. If we have uh, major price increases on energy, then that certainly could start pushing on through some of these resistance levels and hold higher lows and move back up. So um, watch that close. Other places that you might want to be taking a look at, boy, um, we're seeing an awful lot of bearishness in some of the travel related stocks, airlines, um, uh, cruise lines, all of those are suffering because of the consumer weakness here in the market. Seeing um, some uncertainty here even in Costco on that consumer side. We've been bouncing around in here, can't quite break through this resistance area up here. If we were to see some follow through bearishness today, that would uh, create a lower high here in um, Costco and that possibility that we could really start to see Costco start to falter here a bit if um, we don't get um, good data today. So keep a close eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all the very, very best today. And more importantly, I want to wish you a fantastic weekend with you and your family. Take care. Be safe. See you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great weekend, everyone.